gentlemen, three rounds of boxing in the final of the prize fighter series in the lightweight division. Right, lads, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, keep it. So here we go with another prize fight to final, and you know, some of the cards that we've been seeing consistently throughout the night, I think we've only had one fight that was pretty much straightforward in terms of the cards. Both these fellas might be thinking, you know what? I'm going to have to produce a, a knockout Take here to make sure. Anyway, who's it going to be? Is it going to be young John O'Carroll in the black with the gold trim, or is it going to be Michael Devine, the man from Luton who took time off his job to prepare for this? He moved out of the home that he shares with his partner and his daughter so that he could train with his uncle three times a day. Real commitment. That's paid off for him. But can he double his money here and walk away with the title? Or will John O'Carroll, as the bookies think, just be too slick and too clever? problem he's going to face if he does commit he better hit he better land and here we go it's explosive stuff once again Harold doesn't want to get dragged into that kind of fight though good body work from Devine yeah good solid punching there from Devine but uh, Carl has answered everything that's come his way so no one getting the, the early advantage Devine has a cool head, which I think is important against this little fellow. See, Carl is always good at getting up, really getting some punches off, and then nullifying, you know, holding and wrestling. Becoming messy. I think Devine expected the referee to call break there, and he didn't, so uh, Carl was quite right to get the punch off. Well, we saw Carl in Dublin last month. He's, he's not a man you can intimidate. I mean, that was a real brawl against Declan Geraghty. He was cut on the scalp, blood pouring all over the place. But he wouldn't be intimidated, he wouldn't go away, and it was Geraghty eventually that got thrown out. Once again, though, both of these fellas targeting the body. Good shots coming in, though, from Devine as he switched it upstairs. Parallel court. Carl landed a terrific punch there, but I think Devine came back with a better one. Has seemed to have the impact. He's marked up badly under the right eye, Devine here. That really is swelling up. Yeah, it was a huge left hook he took there from Carl. So Carl showing his gritty enough to stand his ground as well. Yeah, you're not going to bully him. No question. Devine looking to try and work his way in here. Carroll not there. Oh, again, real good counter work from Carroll, who got a spearing left hand in there as well. He's looking so sharp. Yeah, he's so quick. And then again, you know, he puts the head under the arm, touch so the referee will call break. He does all the little tricks. A terrific again. A good response from Devine. I don't know how many of these combinations to the head he's going to take, though, Jim. I mean, he's open to these. Carroll just picking him off. He's just struggling with the speed of the, of the work coming from Carroll. Carl just pounces in and punches as he moves forward. Springs in the action. And he's happy enough with that. Celebrating like he's won it. John O'Carroll. Great. Anyway, I believe you've got it. Put the goal right away. Okay. Now, what you're doing so is great, but he's going to start to catch them. When he starts throwing, you start throwing yours. Now there's some terrific punches landed in the opening round. Some untidy work there, the body shot. I wonder if we'll see the huge left hook that Carl landed. I think Devine has been drawn into the kind of fight that maybe he doesn't want to get drawn into. He throws wide punches. Carl's are shorter, short little sharp jolting punches. And his are paying off. But terrific. Opening round, worthy of a final. That was a big left hand I was speaking about. So, sorry, right hand. Ten seconds. From Carroll. A ah, terrific shot. Second terrific round. shot, jolting round punches. Two. Pascal Collins working the corner of John O'Carroll, sends him out for the second round. And Pascal describes him as a southpaw Stephen Ormond. That's praise indeed. Well, just caught in the throat there, I think. Divine. Alexander separates them and then 
Devine tries to regroup, but he's getting tagged again, and Carroll's going for it here. You know, Carroll is so good at the messy stuff. You know, he can still get his punches off, but he stops the other guy from doing anything. This is very effective. And his own defences are up quickly there. But remember, Devine does load up, Jim. He really loads up, and if he tags you, he'll take you out. He's got to watch that, Carroll. The base punches are too wide when the action is so close. Whereas Carroll can get leverage into the short punches. Both of them had such a good break. So we went through that ten rounder between uh, Martin Ward and Maxi Hughes. So there are no excuses of tiredness. Ward, or rather, excuse me, Carroll, first continuing to just try and intimidate his opponent here, but that's easier said than done. Devine getting stuck in once again, but catching a big left uppercut, and he's in trouble. Not finding the title. Oh, that's absolutely. the second time he's hit on the break. That is the second time. You know, one point's deducted. Now, that is the second time, and, and the same round, he's hit on the break. Silly, you cannot afford over three rounds to be losing points. Perfect shot. Oh, a very, very explosive left hand from John O'Carroll, but Devine coming back at him, but he can't land clean. Great upper body movement from Carroll. Really slick stuff. Devine was landing on the shoulders and then missing. He just can't find that chin. But it hasn't stopped him trying. He's still coming back for more. Real gutsy effort this from Devine, but he is getting beaten up at the moment. The gum shield nearly comes out. Carroll just measures him up for another assault in first. And Devine is slowing down visibly now. I think the difference between them is the short punches of Carroll and the long sweeping punches of Devine that Carroll can see coming and beating them to the punch. That little contact quick South Boss style has so difficult to deal with. Again, oh, really crude from Devine, who's just going for it though, just gritting his teeth, and you've got to admire his guts. And then challenges the rough stuff again, but Carroll with those sharp, fast, hurtful shots, and a big swinging shot on the bell from Devine, but Carroll knows it's his to lose now, and there's not much on the evidence of the first two rounds, but this fella can do about it. Listen to me, mate. Breathe, suck it in. Breathe. Oh, no, just breathe. No, listen to me, listen to me. No, I just think uh, Carl is so compact. The defences are there. The short kind of jolting punches that he throws. Whereas the big, wide, powerful shots coming back. Now, that's twice. That's the second time in that round that uh, he hit after the call to break. But in between times, wasn't too bad what he was coming up with. And he, he bullied Devine once or twice in those exchanges. Solid uppercut hooks, all quality short punches. That's a man who knows he's three minutes away from 32,000 pounds. Last round of what's been one of those prize fighters you can't take your eyes off who's going to go home with the big prize John O'Carroll surely has one hand on the trophy but can Devine show some heart and just land the one big punch which is possibly all it's going to take you know, and Carroll looks really tough as well you know he's short, he's stocky, solid looking the way he's mixed up his styles tonight, we've seen so many different sides to his game. Yeah, he seems to be able to adapt to whatever the opponent does. But I've always been impressed the way he gets his punches off, then he can spoil, he can nullify, not allow the other guy to come back with anything. Well, he had his slice of luck against Gary Buckland. He got it on uh, what the judges like. A lot of us thought Buckland won that. But I won't be anything lucky if he hears his name here. He's looked the boss from first bell up till now and it's going to be Devine who's got to find something with two minutes left if he wants that trophy good body work from Devine just giving everything he's got these big swinging punches and he's landing he's connecting and Carroll has to hold well he's done a fair battle holding Nick that's part of his little plan that was a huge effort 
from Devine then. Minute and a half. Devine with a glance at his corner. And he's on his own now, and the clock is ticking. And that's his worst enemy. Great combination again from Carroll. He's just too quick and too accurate. Yeah, and look at the way he pulls away from well, the look at Devine's response again. Jim, you've just got to take your hat off to Devine, because he's taken so much punishment and still he's pouring it on, giving it absolutely everything he's got. It's what prize fighter is all about. Well, we're into the last minute, so Devine must know he needs something special. Is it... Looking to land one huge right hand. Well, he may lose this fight, Jim, but he's going to win a lot of a, a lot of respect because he's if he is going out, it's going out fighting. And John O'Carroll is being made to earn this thing. He's not being given it. Carroll inside 30 seconds. Surely there can't be any doubt about the scorecards in this one. Oh, that's a big he's shot. in big trouble again. He was hurt. But Carroll, just happy to keep him there. He's got nothing left, Devine. Absolutely nothing left. He's just got to survive these last few seconds. What an effort from him. But what class from John O'Carroll we've seen, not just in this fight, but throughout the whole evening. John O'Carroll is one to keep an eye on for the future. And surely he's the lightweight prize fighter champion here at the York Hall tonight. We've seen some people going into Thrice by Tarrin just having the perfect style. Well, John Joe Carroll was able to adapt to whatever the other fellow brought to the table. And that was a terrific final. Terrific performance. Showed his toughness, showed his skills, showed the experience, and I don't know where he got it, the way he could nullify what, what, what the, the other guy's been trying to do all night long. Just has the perfect style. And he's going home with a the check. There's the numbers. They're right, Carroll has won this comfortably. Divine for all that effort, so little success. It really is extraordinary, Carroll. You know, you alluded to his lack of experience, and it was just the one fight in December 2012, one in December 2013, a third one last month. There's confirmation of your card. As you say, Jim, he's he's shown us some real class and some real potential when you consider how little pro experience he brings to the show tonight. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's the way, you know, the experience that he's shown, the way he could nullify, get his punches off, then nullify when the other fellow got close. Sometimes it's untidy. A stricter referee at times would maybe pull him up in a longer fight. But, I mean, you can't argue with the quality, you know, and the timing of these little bursts of punches. He lets go, forces the mistake, that gets his own punches off, then gets his head, instinctively gets his head out of danger. And a word about Michael Devine, Jim, he could not have put any more effort into this. Full credit, he had his moments in the third round there. I think the job was, was, had already slipped away from him by that time, but a huge effort from him, he can be proud. Right, let's find out who is prize fighter champion tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing in the final, the judges' scorecards read Phil Edwards 29 28, Howard Foster 30 27, Ian John Lewis 30 27. All three judges are in favour of the winner, winning the magnificent trophy £32,000, and most important of all, the title of Prize fighter champion in the lightweight division from Dublin, Ireland, John O'Carroll. Let's show your appreciation, please, for a very game prize fighter indeed, Michael Devine. And now Mick Collier will present the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, Mick Collier will now present the trophy. Well, it wasn't 3.30 27s, 